yo, yo. Uh, first time back on the bike today in two weeks. And I got to say, it feels so good. I am mentally refreshed. I am physically refreshed. Super excited. Anyways, I'm excited to really take you through this off season. I'm gonna do it right this year. I'm gonna check in once a week, talk about what's going on. But I wanna give you a little heads up on what's going on right now with my training. Now the two weeks off were not just no riding, don't do anything. Um, I had plenty of days where I did walks. I'd walk for like an hour. I had other days where I did core work and that was pretty much it. Outside of that, I was just relaxing and just doing my coaching stuff. It's the end of the first week of October, uh, Saturday, just now, first ride on the bike. And here's my workout, literally for the next week and a half. Just easy endurance. So I'm starting out with like 90 minute days and then we'll eventually move into two hours, like mid next week. But I'm just out getting easy endurance in. Not pushing myself. Like the goal is just go ride. Don't breathe too hard. That's easy endurance. And then when that time is up, we'll do a week of baseline testing. And then uh, there's a lot of cool things come after that. Quick pause, how cool is this? So sick. Quick story about this train. It is a replica steam engine of the one that Abraham Lincoln took up this exact rail trail or exact line to Gettysburg to do the Gettysburg address. Then also it's the same one that he came back on when he, uh, or he came through when he was doing his, his uh, when he, uh, oh my gosh, passed away and was doing his funeral tour. Anyways. So sick. Back to training. Wise, that's kind of the general plan. Just uh, ride around and enjoy it right now. It's fall, or the leaves are quickly starting to change. I mean, it is fall, duh. But uh, yeah, it gets really pretty this time of year. Love it. Anyways, I meet with my coach uh, in two days on Monday, and we're gonna go over my plan. So uh, yeah, let's now fast forward and talk about what he's got planned for the season. It's Monday, October 9th. Yes. Anyways, I uh, had the meeting with my coach this morning, and unfortunately, you will be disappointed because I was disappointed as well. Uh, we actually postponed talking about my overall season plan for 2024. Uh, he wanted to wait until after we do my baseline testing next week, then we would dive into the plan. He just wants to make sure that, one, he's got a couple things he's planned out for my overall plan. But the other thing is we want to see what some of my numbers look like from the baseline testing after taking two weeks off to really see if there's anything we need to add or tweak to help it's kind of set the tone moving forward. But just to go a little bit on what I did learn, some more new information today about what I will be doing in 2024 is, one thing we found is uh, for my threshold power, say uh, I have a threshold of 350. Now there's been, this this issue where I'll be able to like do 350 watts threshold, you know, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, but then it's kind of hard to keep doing that over and over and over. 
So what we wanted to do was we wanted to try to like drag out that time to exhaustion. And that is something that will work on this off season. I will be doing more uh, my tempo rides instead of doing like 15 to 25 minute chunks of tempo, like back to back to back. I'm going to have those extended out to where, you know, I'll be doing more of two by thirties or two by forties or even two by 60 type tempo efforts. And we're going to draw them out and just work on that time to exhaustion point. Now we might see like marginal gains in my threshold, but we will start to see the overall fatigue resistance and capacity for work to start to increase. Meaning when I get back into race shape where, you know, my threshold tips off, say, say it's at 350 again, which is using as a nice solid number, um, 350. Now I'm going to be able to do like 20 minutes at 350, you know, two or three times before I start to kind of fall off and start doing more like 340, 330. And that is something that's huge when it comes to you end of races. So that's kind of the update right now, but we got a big week of training ahead. Well, it's not really a big week. It's just a constant week of training. So let's jump into some more, uh, on the bike montages and, uh, it's kind of debrief where I'm at. And then, yeah. Let's go. Such a beautiful day. The weather is, uh, this week is actually gonna be kind of nice. I think it's like 67 today. So that's always fun. Um, but other than that, I mean, just doing, continuing with that zone two progression, just taking it chill, just uh, getting the legs back under me. Next week will be super exciting. So uh, you're seeing this on Friday. Tune in next Friday. I'll have an update on some of my testing that I'll be doing next week. And I'm going to actually share that with you and give you some power overlay and whatnot. Super fun. Anyways, uh, these videos are fun to do. I like, I like sharing kind of my life on the bike. You know, what I'm doing. Seems like people kind of enjoy that too. I know people will watch the stuff on the trainer. So anyway, shout out to you guys for uh, getting your training done or just riding your bike in general. It's always fun. This time of year too, fall, uh, I love it. It's like there's no pressure because there's no racing. The scenery is getting so beautiful. The air is like cool and crisp. I just love it. So anyways, thanks guys for uh, watching. Hope you guys keep riding and training hard. See you guys next Friday.